Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're doing another whiskey review, this time from San Jose Airport at Beer Union Bar & Grill, Proper 12, with a Tres Leches Caramel Cheesecake. It was so good. And uh, I had a couple hours to burn, so I thought, what the heck? Let's do a review. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share. And uh, yeah, let's go. Situated across from gates 7, 8, and 9, Beer Union is a great place to pop in for you know a drink and, and some grub. They had looked like amazing burgers and other things, but I had already eaten lunch and I just wanted to you know, I just wanted to drink and I wanted something for dessert. When they told me they had Tres Leches Caramel Cheesecake and Proper 12 Whiskey, I said, I've never tried either one of those. Let's do, let's do this. That was awesome. Uh, it was a good pairing. However, in the future going forward, I would not pair cheesecake with whiskey, uh, especially cheesecake that has, you know, caramel or, or some other covering on it. Because it, by the time I got about three or four forkfuls in, it totally overpowered the whiskey and suddenly the whiskey was just, I'm just drinking. It's just a drink. Uh, fortunately, I got some reviewing done. I got some notes before that. So, yay. The staff at Beer Union was awesome. They served it to me in a shot glass, but were nice enough to transfer it to a beer tasting glass after I took the pick and, uh, and, and a picture and, and realized I can't really do much with this in terms of, of tasting and notes. Uh, unfortunately, the beer tasting glass made it almost impossible to get nose notes out of it because the distance from the whiskey to the lip of the glass was so great. Even when I swirled and swirled and swirled, I couldn't really tell much other than it smells like Irish whiskey. Eh. Speaking of Irish whiskey, this is bottled, distilled, everything in Ireland. It's Conor McGregor's brand and it has, um, it's got a lot of complexity to it but at the same time, they kept it very simple and narrow in the profile. Um, it's aged for a minimum of three years in, in bourbon barrels. It's the, the taste notes are uh, a, like a combination of grain, like fine grain and, and malted barley. A um, little vanilla, a little bit of honey, but the, the honey you get from eating something that has been flavored by honey, not actual just honey. And, uh, you know, baking spices, the usual whiskey stuff. Didn't get any sort of orange peel, didn't get too many fruit notes. Um, Connor seems to want to keep it very, or whoever's actually, you know, the master distiller, wants to keep it very um, clean and simple. Other than that, I can't say much more, but it was a smooth finish. It was a great intro to uh, to whiskey for someone who hasn't had it before. I, I believe it's fairly inexpensive at, at places like Total Wine, so I recommend it. Pick up Proper 12, try it with some dessert, and yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry it was a short video, but not much to say about it other than it's good. Uh, if you want to support the content you love, please consider clicking one of the links in my description. I've got a Patreon page. I've got some CDs for sale. And it all goes to make the channel better and to support the artists that I do have on for interviews. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click here. If you want to subscribe, please click here. Don't forget to ring that bell. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.